How does a tax sale on a house work? In this video, I'm going to show you how does a tax sale on a house work so that you can get started getting lists, bidding on properties, and winning a tax sale auction. You'll learn how to get the list, pick the properties, and go to that auction. I'm going to give you the inside information that you need to avoid the problems and to find the deals. I've been doing this for years and I'm here to really pull back the curtain for you. And be sure to listen all the way to the end because at the end I'm going to give you access to a special resource and a world-class investor in this space who found a way to buy properties with absolutely no competition for only the taxes due, totally free and clear. It's going to amaze you. When I heard about this it amazed me. It's a second way to buy tax sale properties that very, very few people know about and that can really help you make a lot more money at those tax sales. <music> Houses are sold at tax sale all the time. Matter of fact, about 3,000 properties are sold at tax sale every business day in America. So lots of properties available and the question is, how does it work? How do you take advantage of it? Well, the first step is to get the list. So let me show you how to do that. It's very simple. You're going to go onto Google, do a search, XYZ County State Tax Sale. Like for example, if I put in DeKalb County, Georgia Tax Sale. What comes up? The Tax Commissioner's site and you can click right on the site and it shows you the current list of properties being offered for sale. So this is the, the list and look at it. You can see the address of the property. You can see the parcel number, you can see the owner, current owner name, and most importantly, you can see the taxes that are owed. That's important because the bidding is going to start at the taxes owed. And as you can see, those numbers are very small. The bidding starts very low, and as long as the county is getting its taxes, it'll sell them for the taxes that are due. So when you're at those auctions, you're sometimes going to really get amazing deals because you'll just get properties for a couple of years worth of taxes, which is literally pennies on the dollar. Now I will tell you that most of these sales are competitive. There are plenty of people bidding, but I'll also tell you if you follow a strong methodology, which is start with a lot of properties, screen through them, and then go to that auction, you can get some properties. And it's just you need to start with a lot of properties, then you look at a few. So the question is how do you do that and what do you do? Well, you get your list like this one. Then your next step is just to go into Google Street View, which is Google Maps. It's where you can see the street. You go to Google Street View and you look at the property. And just for example, this is a property that is being offered at this tax sale. You can see a picture of it. And if you turn and you can see me doing this, if you turn, you can see what the street looks like. So your first step is to simply pull up each property on Google Street View, take a look at the property, see if you like it, take a look at the street by just turning Google Street View around and see if you like it. Your goal here is to identify the properties you're interested in and get rid of the ones you're not interested in. So go through as much of the list as you can, look through a bunch of properties, and then, this is going to surprise you, don't do anything, just wait. The reason I say that, and this probably surprises you, is because you don't want to do your next due diligence until later on, until very close to the sale. And here's why. Most of the time, the people are going to pay their taxes or they're going to file bankruptcy to stop the sale before that tax sale ever happens. So you may start out with a list of 300 properties on it. By the time it gets to the auction, you probably have 50 properties that are left to bid on. So you don't want to do driving by 300 properties for the chance of bidding on 50 later. Instead, what you want to do is wait till three or four days before the auction and then you start driving by properties and physically inspecting them. And the methodology is this. Early on, you're just crossing off properties you're not interested in, identifying the ones you're interested in through Google Street View. And then as the sale gets closer, you pull the list up again and the county will update the list showing you ones where the person has either filed a bankruptcy or paid the taxes or made some arrangement so it's no longer on the sale list. So the sale list now shrinks and they say, all right, of what's left, which ones am I interested in? And then those are the ones that you drive. So you're going to spend three or four days driving by properties. And what you do when you drive by is you pull up, you look at the property from the street and you're looking to see is it occupied or is it vacant? Does it have signs of maybe having a fire? Like is there blackening under the eaves? Do I see holes in the roof? Is there a blue tarp on the roof because the roof's been leaking? Assess as much as you can about the property and understand these properties are neglected. 
And when they can't pay their taxes, they also can't pay to maintain the property. So you just kind of have to assume the worst. Assume that it's got problems and it's going to need a lot of work. If you're feeling bold, and I suggest that you do, should feel bold if you're in this business, go knock on the door and see if anybody's home. If nobody's home, at least when you come up to the door, assess what you can. If you can see in any of the windows, just look. I'm not saying go like pull yourself up to a window and look through it. But when you're walking up the driveway, if you can see it in a window, look in it. If you can see you know, the side glass next to the door, look in it. You want to see whatever you can gather about the property. If it's vacant, at least walk around the outside of the property and, and peek in the windows. You know, you don't have any right to be on the property, so you're, you're technically can be trespassing. So please do not like walk inside the property. At least if you do know that you are trespassing, you're not supposed to be doing that without the owner's permission. Just because it's on the tax sale list doesn't mean that you, know, you have permission to walk through it. But assess what you can, because if you're going to buy it, you need to know what you're getting into. And if you don't know what you're getting into, at least assume the worst, assume a full rehab. So that's what you do with each property. And then from your set of, say, 30 properties you're interested in, maybe you have 15 that are left that you're actually interested in bidding on. Then you go and get ready for the auction. Now, a couple things about these auctions. Number one, they're cash only affairs. You have to have cash. Usually they're either going to have you wire money in or bring a cashier's check. There are rules, and speaking of rules, you need to go on the auctioneer's website, same place you get the list, like the tax commissioner's website, and get the rules of sale. Those rules are going to tell you when payment has to be made, how you make payment. I'm also going to tell you about pre-registration. For many of these sales, you need to register in advance for the sale. So it's not a problem. It's just you don't want to show up at the sale the day of the sale and find out you can't bid because you didn't register in advance. They have some simple paperwork to fill out. Uh, make sure that you comply with that. Check into it when you first get your sale list, just so you can see what's involved. Make sure that you're registered in advance and then get ready to bid. The sales are held online and they're held in person, depends on the county. Um, advantages of online, it's easy, you can do it from home. Disadvantages are there's more competition when it's online. But either way, you bid on the property, you buy your properties, and then you're off to the races. Now be aware with tax sale properties, you know, there are some issues. You know, you have to deal with occupants. They don't you know, clear the occupants out for you. You have to deal with them, which means either offer them cash for keys or you get a lawyer to evict them. Um, people can file bankruptcy after the sale if they do that, if they file a bankruptcy after the sale. You can get your money back. It's just going to be paid over time. That's happened to me. I get paid over time. It was fine. But just understand things like that happen. Sometimes people sue to overturn the tax sale. That happens. You may lose your deal. You'll get your money back from the county, but you're still you lost that deal and you lost that time. So, you know, this is not something without any problems. The trade-off for that is you can get properties very inexpensively. The tax sales are definitely the bargain basement of real estate. You can get some great properties. Here's some pictures of properties at tax sale. I bought this one, get this for $275 at the tax sale for an actual house. It's in bad shape, but it was still a house. Made some great money on it. Here's another place I bought for $4,000 at tax sale. Again, a standing property. Needed work, wasn't horrible, had a tenant in it, um, had to redo carpets and painting, things like that, but not a big deal. Made some good money with that one. And here are other ones that other people have bought. Here's one in, in Castro Valley, California. They bought it for half a million, sold it later that year for 1.2 million. I'm sure they had to do some fix up, but it's a small house. So they sure as heck didn't, didn't put $500,000 into it. So you can be sure they made some money on that. So there's great money in here, but you have to deal with, you know, looking at a lot of properties and, and taking some risk. But if you're informed and you really do your due diligence, you can make some great money. There's also a new innovation in doing this that a friend of mine came up with, who's an absolute world-class expert at buying properties at tax sale. He's been doing it more than 30 years. He is the most knowledgeable guy I know in this. And he came up with a way of buying it where there are no other bidders, where you can take your time looking at the property as much as you want, and you can pick up properties for only the past due taxes. So this guy's buying properties for like three, four, five thousand dollars. He bought one that he'll show you actually. He bought one that he bought it for about twenty-five hundred dollars. It was rented for eight hundred dollars a month. So basically, in three months collecting rent, he paid for the entire property. And these properties all come free and clear, other than one sale, which I'll just warn you about. There's one sale called the Pennsylvania Upset Sale, which is held in September in Pennsylvania. The only sale I know of in the country where it's not free and clear. All the other ones are free and clear of mortgages. It's really amazing. But what I want you to do next, because I want you to see my friend's innovation in this business, it's really amazing. Um, click on the link to the video 
where you're going to learn this new, innovative, proprietary way of buying properties at tax sale. It's entirely free. It's just a YouTube video, so it's, nothing's going to cost you anything. Go watch it. You're going to be amazed. It's 26 minutes long. It's not terribly long. It's fascinating. And this is the guy that can teach you this new innovation. I really love it. I think it's the smartest thing that I've seen. You avoid the competition. You avoid driving all over the place, seeing properties. You don't have to just come up with cash like the day of the sale, like you have to do it most of these sales. Really great innovation. So click on that video link. You'll see my friend and I, I did an interview. So he told me all about it. You're absolutely going to love it. And that is the way to be doing this. So click on that link and I'll see you over there.